Welcome to Give Energy Support. In this video, I'll show you how to update the firmware on your Give Energy battery system manually. For this, all you will need is a machine that runs either Windows or Apple OS X, so you can transfer a file from a USB A drive from that machine to the drive, and then we'll plug it back into the system and continue the firmware update. The USB drive is inside the battery unit itself, so you won't need one of those unless you have the all-in-one battery system, and then you will need a USB A drive. This video is specifically for the Give Energy all-in-one battery firmware, so the serial number should start CH or CD. That's Charlie Hotel or Charlie Delta. If Give Energy support have emailed you the file, then please put that attachment into the downloads folder on your machine. If you've watched the how to update your firmware via the portal video and that's failed and that's brought you to this one, then that's the only way the download button will appear on the portal if the firmware update has failed. As I said in that video, please click the retry update at least once. More often than not, it will work the second time. But if it doesn't, then click download. And then after that, this will appear and essentially just click download again. Then put the file into your downloads folder if it's not already there by default and we can begin the process of transferring it onto the USB pen. Now we have the files, go to this PC, then go to your downloads folder where we put the firmware file, the zip file that we either got via email from Give Energy or from the portal. Right click on that file and then click extract all. It will look like this if you have Windows 10, again, just extract all. Tick the box if it isn't already for show extracted files and click extract. A window should pop up like this. Double click on the folder and that is the firmware file that we need. There's only one for batteries, there are two for inverters. So I'm just gonna put that to one side. And then I want to go back to this PC on the other window and plug the USB drive into the machine. It may automatically pop up, it may not, right click on the USB drive and click format. Now this is very important. You have to use a USB pen drive that is lower than four gigabytes in capacity. If you don't have this, you'll have to partition a larger pen drive. So it's got, let's say a two gigabyte partition because the file system we need, and this will only come up if your pen drive is small enough, is FAT or FAT16. In this case, it says FAT default. Once we've done that, make sure a quick format is ticked and click start. Click OK. That will only take a second or two. Click OK again and you can close that window. We now have a FAT16 partition USB drive, so double click on that. It should be empty, that's good. And then go back to the downloads folder where we have our firmware file and just drag it over to the USB drive. That will create a copy on the pen drive. What we need to do now is go back to this PC and then right click on the pen drive again and eject. On the right hand side of the all-in-one unit, unscrew and lift up the flap so we can access the USB port. Then grab the USB pen that you've just put the firmware file onto and plug it in. You'll hear a beep and several clunks and by the time you've heard the second beep, that means it's ready, it's done its job, and you can unplug the USB pen drive. Give it two or three minutes, it will probably require less. You can close the cover at this stage and secure it and wait for the unit to come back online. And that's it, we are done. Please allow several minutes for the battery or inverter, whichever you've just updated, to reconnect to the Give Energy systems. So again, give it a few minutes to make sure it comes back online before you then think, hmm, something's not gone right. If you have any problems with this, then I would suggest the first step is to repeat the process. The step after that, if this has not worked for you, is to contact Give Energy Support Direct and ask for their advice. So we are done here. Thank you ever so much for watching. Any questions, please put in the comments. And if you're looking for any other videos regarding manual update process, they will be in the description below. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you soon.